make sure no one gets really close to the fan because like those straps right there is going to get sucked into the fan. My straps? Yeah. Um, just make sure people aren't getting too close to this. They give food to kids, they give food to homeless. It's really needed here in the valley. Take my mom up. Yeah, nice. on her bucket list. So we're gonna take her up and have some fun today. Inside a So yeah, this is an awesome event and uh, you know, Woody Creek Distillers is really proud to be a part of it. The charity is awesome, they do great work. As always, we're happy to support it. This is our 35th year. We have eight food pantries. We go all the way from Aspen to Tibet. People can come in once a month for food assistance. We have a Meal Monkey lunch program in Rifle, Silton, Newcastle that we do. We, we've served about 1,300 lunches so far this year. It's not just food assistance, we also do um, prescription assistance. Thrift store vouchers and bus passes get up valley for job interviews or doctor's appointments. One of my main focuses since I took over as the executive director to provide healthier food. We encourage people to plant a row for lift up because it, you know, our client base doesn't always get the fresh produce and the healthier foods that they need. So we work with Uproot. We've done it for four years now. And let's see, we've collected probably 40, 50,000 pounds of fresh produce. Yeah. So, you know, in, 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 those, in that food assistance, we always try to do a good protein, some, you know, like I said, we like to do the healthier food. We're asking for donations of food. We ask for low sodium, low sugar, whole wheats, whole grains, that kind of stuff. Because in my research, poverty, hunger, and obesity kind of go hand in hand. We have about 130 volunteers. Wow. We have a couple of extended table, we call them community dinners. We probably have about a 300 base volunteer that, op that runs those and serves those meals. So about 19,000 meals out of those alone. I think our total services for last year was like in the 50,000 individual range. I started back in 2010. I, I moved here from Missouri in 2008. And so I started in 2010. I never worked for a nonprofit. I started out as the office manager and I just fell in love. And I've, I've been out in the trenches. I'm in my office a lot because I do the grants and I have to work with all the financial end, you know. But I've been out in the trenches. I've served at the extended tables. I, you know, I've, I've literally went out and handed out lunches when it first started. It's so, re you know, those kids and those people, they're so grateful for the help. And, and that's what it is for me. Mm -hmm.